One of the reported problems with my M3 is that of catastrophic engine failure due to worn out rod bearings. One of the many ways to potentially get an early warning of this problem is to send the engine oil off for analysis. So, this time on Road and Race, I change the oil, post the oil, wait a bit, then go through the results. In the last episode, I went through some of my favourite features on my BMW you might not have known about. In this episode, I'll take you through the process of changing the engine oil and the filter in my E92 M3, and then go through the results of the oil analysis to see if my car has any early warning signs of rod bearing failure. So, just to be special, the M3's S65 engine has not one, but two drain plugs. When it comes to sending the oil off, fill in the supplied card, pop it in the plastic bag, wrap it in the towel, pop it in the container, then get it ready for posting. Now I'll sit back and wait for the results. So, two weeks later, here are the results. My car had done 77,000 miles and the oil was last changed 6,743 miles ago. Here's what the report said. Universal averages for this type of engine are based on about 5,600 miles of oil use. This oil was in place a little longer, a little more metal than average isn't unusual. Silicon is the only element high enough to mark and it could be a harmless sealer or lube, or it could be abrasive dirt getting past the air filter. So give the air filtration system a quick inspection to make sure all is well. The viscosity was correct and no fuel water was found. So here's the results in more detail. My figures are on the left and the average for this engine is listed on the right. For rod bearing wear, we are looking for high levels of iron, copper or lead. As you can see, they are all within average readings, which is good. The only item of note is silicon. So, as recommended, it's time to check the air system. From the service history episode I did a few weeks back, the paperwork said the air filter had been changed recently. So let's have a look. Well, the air filter looks properly fitted. So let's check it. Yeah, it looks clean, so it was definitely changed recently. All I can think of is maybe the turkey baster I used to transfer the oil into the testing pot wasn't perfectly clean, so contaminated the oil a bit. Anyway, summing up, the oil report looks good. I'll send another sample off next time, but at the shorter 5,600 mile oil change interval they mention. If you've had an oil analysis done on your M3, or if you've had a rod bearing failure, please let me know in the comments. Next time on Road and Race. I spend the weekend driving the 270S from Caterham. Is it really as good as they say on the track? And what's it like to use as your daily drive? If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing and clicking the like button as it really helps me be able to make more shows. Click the video in the top right of the screen to watch the next episode in this series, or the one in the bottom right to watch from the start of this series. And as always, thank you for watching.